uh, radical Muslim attacks uh, in Europe and Africa. And we've got the police chief of Detroit saying, get guns. You know, we can't protect you. They've cut the police and you, you need to get guns. I mean, that's normal when you're in a road warrior situation to have the police chief say, get guns. And, I mean, the Austin police chief knows full well more guns means less crime. Criminals are going to have guns regardless. They, they know, in fact, I mentioned the heroes of Mexico. They act just like Texans because they are. I mean, you know, Mexico was founded. A third of the people here were, were, were Tejano uh, you know, Mexicans. The guy that wrote the Constitution had been a Mexican. They didn't like Santa Ana. Mexico later overthrew Santa Ana after he lost Texas because he was a thug. I mean, no, no, one wanted, no one wanted to be under Santa Ana. And the Texans didn't want to have a fight with him. But he came and said, I'm taking the land that the previous president sold you for pennies on the dollars, a couple cents an acre. We paid three cents an acre from the uh, previous Mexican government before Santa Ana. They all spent it like it was a bunch of Don Johnsons shooting pregnant women in the Mexican Revolution uh, that started you know, here in Texas, began the Texas Revolution. There were a bunch of other Mexican revolutions against tyrants. Guatemala uh, took Guatemala from Santa Ana because he was a dictator. I mean, does that mean they didn't like Hispanics? No, they didn't like Santa Ana. See, I know too much. I know history. I'm not an ignorant fool. But the system knows the average person doesn't know all this information and doesn't know Santa Ana said, I'm coming to take all your guns. And in Texas was very dangerous at that time with Comanche, you name it, in big Indian wars. Uh, and they said, we can't give up our guns. We're not giving up our property. That's what happened there. But in Mexico, in the last five years, they've had rural ranchers, the, you know, cowboy hats, the whole nine yards, get illegal guns out of the U.S. and start fighting back against the cartels. And the cartels have now left those areas. And the Mexican army's pulled out of those areas. And crime rates have plummeted. That's mainstream news. See, there's the answer. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Dr. McCoy. Great points, Joel. Dr. McCoy, go ahead. Hi, thanks. Um, I think that there may be a non-prescription treatment for the Ebola virus hidden in the technical literature. The name of the compound is PolyIC, that's P-O-L-Y parenthesis I colon C close parenthesis. And this is basically a long generic double-stranded RNA that is an immunomodulator. You can look that up on Wikipedia and it'll give you a little overview if you want. I can back this up with um, an article from the Proceedings of National Academy of Sciences. The title is, A Non-Replicating Subunit Vaccine Protects Mice Against Lethal Ebola Challenge. Excuse me. And uh, in that, they call it an adjuvant, um, suggesting that it's aiding the vaccine. But in fact, there's uh, a patent application, I believe, from Novartis, which uh, seems to be disclosing that this can act on its own. This is marketed as an animal antibiotic, but it's not an antibiotic. Again, it's an immunomodulator, um, and it can be found on the open market. I can give you the name of that patent application if you want. Well, that's very interesting, sir. You should write an article about it for us, and then we'll fact check it and put it up on InfoWars.com. Anybody can submit articles at PlanetInfoWars.com. It's primitive and simple, but it works well. Uh, that's our little social network, PlanetInfoWars.com. Thank you so much for the call. Uh, and I wasn't ignoring you there at the end. Obama phone lady came back in, and I put you on, on pause for like five seconds, so I missed the, the end of what you were saying. Occasionally, if it sounds like I wasn't listening to you, it's because they're popping in my ear to say, Jesse Ventura just won his lawsuit uh, or, you know, blah, blah, blah. And by the way, I've talked to Ventura. I've been playing phone tag within the last few days. Um, I'm just going to get him on for a full hour next week. Uh, he wasn't going to do any news, but he did a couple TVs he, because he's playing a 3M charity deal the next three days, a big golf tournament. And so it was like either get him on for like 10 minutes via a scratchy cell phone or try to get him on via Skype or something next week. We've got to help him fix his Skype at his house. And he said he'd, uh, he'd do it. His wife said he'd do it. So we'll, we'll get a response from Ventura. And again, with all this big world news going on, the Ventura thing's not really important. We're going to skip this network break, guys. Uh, but the larger issue is they could destroy 
anybody with one of these hoaxes. And it's not about Chris Kyle and his service. It's not about his uh, wife, the widow, as they've made it in the media. Chris Kyle said he beat up Jesse Ventura in front of people for saying that he was glad Navy SEALs were dying. Jesse Ventura never talked like that. And he said retract it, and they wouldn't. He filed suit on Chris Kyle. Chris Kyle then got killed mysteriously. And now they're spinning it in the media where they repeat what Chris Kyle said. And then they say, and Jesse Ventura sued and beat his wife. He ganged up on a woman. News Corps published that book and undoubtedly wrote it and ghost wrote it for him and basically did that. News Corps insurance paid the $1.8 million, not Chris Kyle's wife. And now Clint Eastwood's making his book into a movie. Maybe it'll have Jesse Ventura getting punched out in it. I bet it won't now that he won that lawsuit. Maybe we'll have Clint Eastwood punch him out. And I like Clint Eastwood. Maybe we'll have Jesse Ventura. Somebody will say he, he cooked up, you know, methamphetamine with him or something. It's not true. And Ventura's not supposed to sue. Let's say they said Jesse Ventura murdered an innocent person. And then Jesse Ventura sues the person that says it. They die. And then he wins a suit against the book they wrote that the wife now owns the book. I mean, do, do you have a right to justice in this country? And I get the fact that Chris Kyle's seen as a Republican. And so the Obama hatred is so intense right now. And look, I'm not defending Ventura because I've known him for about nine years and, and we're friends. I'm defending him because he didn't do that. They made it up. They claimed he got an altercation with cops in LA at an airport and ran from police basically in a car. And he was in a golf tournament in Minnesota and hadn't flown for two years when that happened. They were running psyops on him and they could do it to me or Matt Drudge or Ron Paul or Rand Paul. And I'm going to give people the benefit of the doubt when they've been set up by a system. I know a hit piece when I see it. And I think Chris Kyle was manipulated. I think he was told to say that. And he was set up. And, and I don't think he got killed probably over the Ventura thing. Definitely a setup when he got killed. My heart goes out to his wife. That's the bigger issue. When he got executed at that gun range in Dallas. It, it, that Kraft International that he owns wears the Punisher with an added symbol. And khaki pants. And those guys at the Boston bombing were wearing Kraft International outfits. Khaki pants, black shirts. Punisher emblem. And Kraft would not respond and not say they hadn't done it. And Chris Kyle died right after that. I mean, right after. And I'm not saying Kraft was involved. We watched the video and the photos. When that went off, they were running around checking everybody. They had, I believe, Kraft or someone like them in a drill that they, because they'll, because they'll get a bunch of drill. We know a drill was going on too. So that cops, if they find the real bomb with another group, they'll just think it's part of the drill. We've talked a lot about that. So I believe Chris Kyle got executed and they set up some mind control victim to take the fall because he knew too much. And I think was probably overall a good guy. He was obviously being directed by high level people as a cutout asset and they burned him. Now, folks, I was told by Navy SEALs a week after 20 something of them died in that helicopter crash that the word was there was a bomb on board and that they thought they'd been set up and killed because the bin Laden raid was fake and that they killed a body double. Years after that, I've had multiple Navy SEALs and multiple Navy SEAL families on who lost family and they say that's the word and they know the name of the body double. And let me tell you, when I meet with a Navy SEAL or meet with a Navy SEAL's family in private, Early on, it was dangerous when I went on air with that information. So let me explain something. I'm not up here making this stuff up, okay? <laughs> I mean, I, just, I get chills, folks, of fear. And I'm not even consciously afraid. My body is afraid. My, you, know what sound, you understand what I'm saying? My body. My body is afraid. Whenever we confirm... This is above my pay grade, folks, that they took a bunch of nuclear weapons that were hidden at Dias out and, and sent them to the, the East Coast. And then Obama starts talking about, I'm afraid nukes will go off with some mystery group. I mean, the globalists are not ab above false flagging. And then, you know who they're going to come after? 
They're going to come after the libertarian movement, folks. And believe me, I'm a canary in the coal mine. They ever announce Alex Jones has committed suicide or Alex Jones was found dead with a needle on his arm, I was killed. I will never commit suicide, and I don't use illegal drugs, ladies and gentlemen. I don't use pharmaceuticals. They say he had a thing of sleeping pills in his belly. I've never taken a sleeping pill. I've had a broken leg, and I won't take the painkillers. Make me vomit everywhere. So I want that on record, ladies and gentlemen. They took secret nuclear weapons out of Dias Air Force Base in, in West Texas. They blew up that helicopter to kill those Navy SEALs because they were talking. You think I like knowing that info? I was real happy when that got broken years year later on you know, mainstream news. They were saying that. Because you know what that means? That means I'm not top of the list to get killed. I don't want to be the hero. I don't want to be out front. I don't want the accolades. I don't want to do this job. Okay? I have a responsibility to tell the truth because my bones won't let me do anything else. Got Obama phone lady back with us. You just said amen. We'll turn her mic back on. What do you think of what I just said? Uh, that's true, too. You got to do what you got to do. And and like you said, you're speaking the truth what's going on, especially when you know it's the truth. That's why you got your Alex Jones show to let the people know what's really going on. We need more people like you. For real, for real. The truth is I'm just up here exhausted, just groaning out the info warning people. I'm not going to switch going SOS, emergency, emergency. Mm. I mean, that's all I'm doing. I mean... That, that's why I feel like I'm doing a horrible job because it's just such a big, important job and I can't do it better, you know? Right, and you're good at it. Because one thing about it, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't knew all what I knew. Because you don't get the other side of it. You only get, like when I was out there... It's above another side. It's, right. a, it's a 360 view. Oh, well, well, it's a 360. Bird's eye, go ahead. Right, you don't get all of that. You know, you just get parts of it. We want Obama to move, win, you're getting $15 an hour. No mess with your food stamps. Oh, it's like, yeah, yeah, we're for the Cowboys. Yeah, I'm for that. It's just like a game. It's right. like, yeah, yeah, and I get it. Now that I've been sitting in this WAP for a year, ain't nothing change. You know, if a person like you can... Well, it did change. There's a higher payroll tax on you. Well, a little bit. Not not where you notice it. You know, if I if I was right now to get you a whole big old warehouse with everything Alex needs, just like you got it now, and I know it took you a long, hard work to get this, you know? I, I, well, most people have mansions in private planes that have radio shows as big as mine. Th th this is what I have. Well, well, this is what you're starting off at. Yeah. Next five years, you're going to have all that, too, because look how far you But I understand what I'm saying. I will just build the media operation. Well, you're going to build it anyway. That's what I want is reporters and to change the world. Well, see, I want to help you because one thing about it in Cleveland, where's that? What channel? Infowars.com. Look up Infowars.com, the Alex Jones Show. Is that that man with the talk show? No, Alex Jones. Look up Infowars.com. We got to get that out there. You, you, well, you're oh. sweet. Let's take yeah. some more phone calls here. You'll be back with us tomorrow, and I'm going to actually come up with some questions, do a more focused interview. It's been a good interview, but uh, I'm kind of exhausted. I, 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 I was okay. up till about 3 in the morning last night, Fine. and I got up at 6 a.m. So, um, But we're going to take you out shooting. Hey, man. And uh, we're going to do a bunch of other stuff. That's good. That's good. I deserve it. Thank you, guys. I may take you out live on the show someday, and we'll do a live Skype feed out there with you shooting. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. You know I like that. Look, I'm getting excited. I like that. <laughs> Maybe we'll have you in on the Sunday show, too. We'll see what happens. Tom and Marilyn, thanks for holding. You're on the air. Go ahead. Last caller. Sorry to the others. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, by the way, golden interview. I'm so glad that you extended it. Uh, you brought to mind, before I get to the two quick questions for Ms. Doherty, uh, when you mentioned craft services, I'm half German. I don't know if you know that craft in German means force. I don't know if uh, uh, what the origins of the naming of that company was, but pretty odd uh, in German it would be force services, and it seems to be that uh, that's what it's amounting to, that uh, that's exactly what they are, and that's what they're providing. Anyway, uh, Ms. Doherty, um, uh, again, uh, I think you're doing a, a great job, and, and I appreciate you opening up the way you are. If I understand you correctly, did you say that during the campaigns that both camps, Romney and uh, Obama camps, were buying to get citizens to... Uh, their side. You know what? We're going to keep going, but but I won't do the whole next segment. We'll just fade into the retransmission coming up. I'm going to come back and let, because I forgot, I promised to ask the question, what repercussions have you gone through? 
Now, I know those ribs are back there. I love them as much as you do. We're going to get those baby back ribs in like seven, eight minutes. We're going to come back and finish up. We're there. on the mark.